YouTube, it's Kwana back with another review and it is day two of 25 days of Black Christmas. Today's offering is Best Man Holiday and I just have one question. Why did I do this, do this to myself? So um, if you have seen, of course, Best Man starring Tay Diggs, Morris Chestnut, Neil Long, Sanaya Lathan, um, Terrence Howard, Harold, I can never say Harold's last name. Um, Perrin, Perrinu, 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 I think that's right. Yes, yeah, plays merch. Um, Regina Hall, and in 20, um, what year was it? Gosh, 2014, 20, 2013, 2013, they came out with Best Man Holiday, which was a reunion flick slash holiday film version and um, funny thing this was the very last movie I saw in the cinema before I had my first kid so it's been a little while since I've watched it and for some reason I forgot how sad this movie was like I cried at at least four scenes and I've already seen the movie and I was like what in the world I'm trying to decorate the Christmas tree put the tree up and I'm sitting here like not this tree this is our hobo tree that has been up all year and I just moved it for a little ambiance um, our actual tree is not gonna be on camera yet because there's nothing on it so. Sorry. Ooh, life, I tell you. Maybe by like this weekend. Um, it'll be up. But anyhow, um I kind of straighten up a little bit. I'm using my phone for my camera. So um yeah, well, this is a little rough. Anyhow, um yeah, I just forgot how sad this movie was. I mean, of course there were some great laughs. Um it, this movie, you know, the, I love all these actors, but Terrence Howard, for me in this movie, is the standout, and he is the best character in this movie. And I realized I only actually like Terrence Howard when he's in this movie. So sorry for the shaking there. So Terrence Howard, if you get this message, you need to make more black comedies because this is where you shine. And we need Q to have his own like movie. Anyhow, the whole gang gets together. It's like umpteen years later and they still have bad blood and there's still drama and it's set to the backdrop of Christmas and Mia um, played by Monica Calhoun she wants to get everyone together again um, and try to mend all of the wounds you have um, all of the different characters I'm not going to do a full synopsis because if you're black living in America you probably have seen this movie already and key thing is if you haven't seen it go watch the movie I'm going to include a link below in the description to help you find the movie I actually watched it um, on FX now which I don't actually have cable so thank you mommy and daddy for your FX now account <laughs> anyhow um so it's there if you happen to watch cable and have cable you have access to F fx now and you can watch the edited version of it which is what i watched um of course there are all kinds of other illegal and legal means of watching this movie but you can just buy the dvd it's not that much and it really is one of those films that probably is going to be pretty standard for most families to watch around the holidays. Um, it is a feel-good comedy. I, like I said, though, I cried like the last 30 minutes of the movie. I just couldn't, it was like my whole life was just at a standstill. Um, it was good. I definitely, like I said, Terrence Howard was um, great in it. Um, all of the ladies did wonderful jobs. Um, Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs is one of those guys that just for me tends to play the same character and I don't really like him that much um, of like some things that he's been in but yeah his character I think because his character is just so greasy and so shady he, this is not my favorite from him but oddly enough I did really care for Morris Chestnut in this movie he wasn't very likable in this movie and I general gen generally like Morris Chestnut so 
you know, who, who, I don't know. It just, um, I definitely could use like a, a female standalone version of this, but I guess they kind of did that with Girls Trip. Um, because the director is also the director of Girls Trip, Malcolm Lee. Anyhow, it was a good movie. Um, definitely, um, a lot of holiday themes and forgiveness and, um, reunion and, um, just really feel good romance, love, family, tradition. It's set at Christmas time. It takes place over like the Christmas holiday, like a one week time span. Um, so definitely on my Santa meter, um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one four Santas, four black Santas on this one. Yeah. I mean, definitely, like I said, it gives you the Christmas vibes. There's lots of snow. There's Christmas trees everywhere. You don't ever forget that it's Christmas. And could it have taken place at another time period? I mean, yeah, sure, they could have said it at Thanksgiving, but it needed to be a holiday. It needed to be an excuse for the, these people to get back together. And so I think it worked well. It lent itself to the Christmas backdrop, and there were definitely some very strong Christian themes in it. So, yeah, if you got nothing else to do and you um, want to watch this for day three for you, um, yeah, Best Man Holiday. All right, so until tomorrow, I think tomorrow we have this Christmas, but I don't know. I'm feeling a little diva Christmas, Carol, so I might give you a switcheroo. So, yeah, um, look in the comments below for, for whatever day three is going to be. All right, until next time, toodles!